the global aviation industry is on the brink of its biggest shakeup since the jet age. For decades the skies have been ruled by a familiar duopoly, with only two names, Boeing and Airbus, dominating the world's air routes and shaping the future of flight. But now, the winds of change are gathering strength, promising to transform the very fabric of commercial aviation. For years, Boeing and Airbus have set the pace, their aircraft carrying billions of passengers across continents and oceans. Their rivalry has spurred innovation but also created a market with limited choices for airlines and travelers alike. Now a new challenger is emerging from China, ready to disrupt this long-standing balance. With Comac leading the charge, China is determined to build a world-class aerospace industry and disrupt the status quo. The country has invested billions in research, infrastructure, and talent, signaling its intent to become a true global contender. This is not just about building airplanes, it's about establishing a new center of gravity in aviation. Airlines worldwide are seeking more efficient aircraft, yet Boeing and Airbus are focused on existing models, leaving a gap for new entrants. As fuel prices fluctuate and environmental concerns grow, carriers are desperate for innovative solutions that can lower costs and reduce emissions. This creates a rare opening for a bold newcomer to step in. China's C929 widebody jet is timed to seize this opportunity, aiming to offer airlines a fresh alternative. Designed to compete head-to-head -head with the most advanced jets from the West, the C929 promises cutting-edge technology, improved fuel efficiency, and a new level of comfort for passengers. Its success could redefine what airlines expect from their fleets. The arrival of a third major player could drive down prices, spur innovation, and give airlines and passengers more choices. Competition often leads to better products and services, and the presence of Comac could accelerate advancements in safety, sustainability, and passenger experience across the industry. Beyond economics, China's push is about national pride and technological independence. Developing a homegrown jetliner is a symbol of progress and ambition, reflecting the country's desire to stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's leading innovators. The C929's success hinges on mastering not just airframe design, but also developing a competitive engine. This is a formidable challenge, as engine technology is among the most complex and closely guarded in aviation. If China can overcome these hurdles, it will mark a major leap forward in its technological capabilities. If China can deliver, it will shift the balance of power in aviation and reshape global supply chains. The ripple effects could extend far beyond the skies, influencing trade, manufacturing, and international partnerships for years to come. The world is watching as this high-stakes race unfolds, with the future of commercial flight hanging in the balance. As the next chapter in aviation history begins, every takeoff, every innovation, and every decision will help determine who will lead the skies in the decades ahead. The Comac C929 marks China's bold and strategic entry into the fiercely competitive long-haul, wide-body aircraft market. This ambitious project is not just about building a new airplane, it's about establishing China as a major player in global aviation, a field long dominated by Western manufacturers. Designed to rival the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, the C929 is China's clear statement of intent to compete at the highest level of commercial aviation. By targeting the same market segment as these industry leaders, Comac is signaling its readiness to challenge the status quo and offer airlines a compelling new alternative. With Boeing and Airbus slow to launch new wide-body jets, the C929 could arrive at a pivotal moment. Airlines around the world are actively seeking replacements for their aging fleets, and the timing of the C929's entry could give it a unique advantage as carriers look for modern, efficient solutions. The C929 project began as a joint venture with Russia, but is now fully under Chinese control. This shift has given Comac the freedom to shape its own path, make independent design decisions, and accelerate development according to its own vision and priorities. The C929's main selling point is its promise of operational efficiency, especially through the use of advanced engine technology and lightweight materials. Comac is betting that airlines will be drawn to lower fuel consumption, reduced emissions, and cutting-edge avionics that can help reduce operating costs over the aircraft's lifetime. For China, the C929 is more than just a commercial venture, it's a flagship for national innovation, technological progress, and self-sufficiency. The project embodies China's determination to reduce reliance on foreign technology 
and assert itself as a leader in high-value manufacturing. If successful, the C929 would prove that China can not only match but potentially surpass Western aerospace giants in both technology and scale. It would be a powerful symbol of the country's growing capabilities and global ambitions. The C929 is set to challenge decades of Western dominance and could redefine the global aviation order, opening a new chapter in the story of international air travel. At the core of the C929's ambitious journey lies its most critical component, the engine. This is not just a piece of machinery, it's the beating heart that will determine the aircraft's fate in the fiercely competitive world of commercial aviation. China isn't simply trying to catch up to Western engine makers. The goal is to set a new global standard, pushing the boundaries of efficiency, reliability, and environmental responsibility. The stakes are high, and the world is watching. The CJ2000 engine, developed specifically for the C929, features an ultra-high bypass ratio, a design that allows more air to flow around the engine core, dramatically improving fuel efficiency and reducing noise. Advanced materials such as ceramic matrix composites and next-generation composite turbine blades are being used to withstand higher temperatures and reduce overall engine weight. These innovations promise not only quieter and more efficient flights, but also lower emissions. For airlines, these technological leaps could translate into significant fuel savings and lower operating costs, making the C929 a highly attractive option in a market where every dollar counts. For Comac, developing a world-class engine is more than a technical achievement. It's essential for convincing skeptical international customers that China can deliver on performance, reliability, and support. Achieving this level of innovation is a massive technical leap. It demands deep expertise in advanced materials, thermodynamics, aerodynamics, and precision manufacturing, fields where China is rapidly building its capabilities. To make this vision a reality, China is investing billions of dollars and mobilizing its brightest minds, bringing together research teams, engineers, and industry leaders from across the nation. The CJ2000 is more than just an engine. It's a symbol of China's high-tech ambitions and a test of its ability to compete at the very highest level of global aerospace. If successful, the C929 and its revolutionary propulsion system could redefine China's place in the global aerospace industry, opening new routes and possibilities for the future of flight. China's drive for a domestic engine is about more than prestige. It's about security and independence. Historically reliant on Western engines, China sees this as a vulnerability in a world of shifting geopolitics. The CJ2000 project is central to China's push for self-reliance in critical technologies. Massive state investment and a brain gain of returning engineers are accelerating progress. While Comac seeks a Western engine option as a backup, the long-term goal is clear Chinese engines for Chinese planes. This dual-track approach ensures the C929 can launch on time, even if the domestic engine faces delays. Ultimately, China aims to power its future fleets with homegrown technology. Achieving this would cement its status as a true aerospace superpower. As Comac advances, Boeing and Airbus face their own hurdles. Boeing is stabilizing after years of setbacks, while Airbus enjoys a stronger market position but struggles with supply chain issues. Political tensions have hampered Boeing's access to China, giving Airbus an edge in the world's fastest-growing market. Recent major orders and shifting alliances highlight the changing landscape. Both giants are focused on current models, leaving the door open for the C929. This strategic pause gives Comac a rare chance to catch up. The duopoly's hesitation could be the opening China needs to break through. Despite ongoing political tensions, Western aerospace suppliers remain deeply involved in the ambitious C929 project. Comac's renewed push for Western partners has attracted major players like Safran and Crane Aerospace, who are providing critical systems and technical expertise. For these suppliers, the C929 represents a rare opportunity, especially as Boeing and Airbus continue to delay new wide-body programs. Their involvement significantly boosts the C929's credibility and technical maturity in the eyes of the industry. This collaboration highlights the global interdependence of the aerospace industry, even as China continues to pursue self-sufficiency. Western technology helps ensure the C929 meets strict international safety and performance standards. The project is a careful balancing act between national ambition and global cooperation. In aviation, commercial realities and shared interests often outweigh political divides. The race for the next generation of aircraft is as much about politics as engineering. 
US-China tensions have made aircraft deliveries a bargaining chip, impacting Boeing's access to the Chinese market. Airbus has navigated these waters more successfully, strengthening its position in China. The C929, once a joint project with Russia, is now a symbol of China's quest for technological sovereignty. Certification outside China will be a major hurdle, with Western regulators likely to scrutinize the aircraft closely. Without global certification the C929's reach may be limited, but its symbolic value is immense. The future of aviation will be shaped as much by diplomacy as by design. The C929's arrival could finally end the Boeing Airbus duopoly and wide-body jets. More competition means better choices and prices for airlines and travelers. For China, the C929 is the culmination of decades of industrial ambition and a tool of global influence. Success would create high-tech jobs and showcase Chinese innovation worldwide. Yet, breaking into a market built on trust and reliability won't be easy. Comac must deliver not just a great plane, but world-class support to win over airlines. Whether the C929 fully succeeds or not, it has already changed the game. The race for the skies is entering a bold new era, one that promises faster progress and more accessible air travel for all.